happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a review of a new dip powder company so pretty diva reached out to me and wanted me to review some of their dip powders and i've actually never tried anything from this brand before so i was super excited to give them a try they also sent over their gel polish top coat so i'm gonna go ahead and pop these open and see what they look like but Right off the bat, I'm absolutely loving the packaging. I have not seen any dip powders come in this type of packaging. It's absolutely stunning, really, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these open here. This is a no wipe top coat and it's a 14.8 ml bottle. Okay, that's a very precise number. I think most companies would have just rounded up and said 15, so. That's nice that they're very accurate. I really like the packaging. It's just, it feels very nice, you know, like high quality. Oh, no. Oh, it spilled. Okay. So it looks like some of the top coat did spill, but let's see. This is the top coat here. It is, it looks like it's of, uh huh. It feels very smooth, like it should be loose, but it's actually of a thicker consistency. Well, I wouldn't even say thick, more so like a medium viscosity. See how long it's taking for it to drop? Yeah, I think I like the I like the consistency of this. And the bottle is really pretty. It's giving me like kind of vintage old school vibes. So that's what the top coat looks like here. Next we have the actual dip powders themselves. I love this container, okay y'all? Let's just take a moment for the packaging. It's absolutely beautiful. Like, I really like this a lot. It looks like it has like the star constellations on here company logo at the top I mean it's just just it's just nice concise I like this a lot okay so at this cylinder package here you bring it up got like the little felt little bag and everything this is this is nice this is really nice I like this wow I've not seen any dip powder company package or stuff like this this is very like innovative I feel like oh wow this is pretty okay so we got three dip powders here I said, I love this little bag it comes with and then it has the instructions in here yeah I really like this I really like it a lot really nice simple and concise I just I'm a big fan of, of this packaging so far let's take a look at the colors here so the color oh they don't have names well that's strange okay I don't see names here but I do know the name of the collection I'm gonna leave the name of the collection here on the screen because I don't remember it off the top of my head Look out, look at this. Great packaging. It has like the little seal right here, one of the little pop top containers. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so that's the first color here. It's like a nice kind of rosy pink or almost rose goldish looking pink color. Although on the picture, I thought it looked a little bit more purpley, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I looked at it. But I love how nicely sealed these containers are. And just the packaging is just, it's just sleek, y'all. It's pretty. Okay, pretty diva. I see why you call it pretty. Okay, next one here is like I said, they don't have names on them, so let's just take a look and see what they look like. This looks like a really pretty glitter glitter dip that has like purples and whites, and looks like even some blacks are in here. So and some silvers. I can't wait to swatch all of these to see what the colors really look like. The last one we have here, it looks like it's a shimmer white color. Yeah, these are some really nice containers. Ooh, this is probably my favorite. This kind of looks like like crystal snow almost. This is a really beautiful white color that has like these really beautiful shimmers in them, like silver shimmers. I love that. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, y'all. So I am gonna go ahead and get these colors swatched off camera and I'll be right back. So I was in the middle of swatching these um, colors and I'd already swatched them as dip powders, right? But um, they swatched so smooth and was so buttery. I was like, these seem like they would be good as acrylics. So then I swatched it as an acrylic. Y'all, I think this is like a two-in-one situation. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch um, this other color here, the color that's in the middle. And I want to see if it picks up just as easily as that white did. I mean, it was super easy to work with. Look at this, y'all. It works as an acrylic too. Holy moly. I am very, very impressed. Like, look at that. What? Definitely works as an acrylic too. This is pretty cool. Like, that just made me love these dip powders even more. Again, I'm going to set another bead down just so you can see. But it works beautifully as an acrylic. 
move it back where you want it to be. I mean, wow. Wow. So I actually think I might just use it as an acrylic. Cause y'all know I've been practicing my acrylic application. So I think that's what we gonna do y'all. Cause this color is stunning. Look at that. Pretty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch the last one with you guys here. Just cause I'm just like really impressed at this right now. <laughs> Yeah, that works beautifully. I'm very impressed that this can be swatched as an acrylic too. Very, very impressed right now. Very cool. I'll go through and show you all the colors swatched as dip powders and I want to talk about them as acrylics. This is the first color. It's this really beautiful white shimmer that has like really kind of light blue and kind of um, white uh, shimmers to it. It's a really gorgeous color. This is what it would look like matte. The second color here is this really beautiful kind of like a rose gold pink color. Really stunning and just absolutely beautiful. That's what it would look like if it was matte. I mean, y'all, these colors, these dips, they were absolutely amazing to work with. Um, this here is the third color here. It has a few small chunky glitters in there. And y'all, look at this. Wow. This is what it would look like if it was matte, and this is what it looks like glossy. I mean, I'm absolutely loving these dip powders. Forgot to talk about the texture of them. Um, I will say they were smooth just dipping them, right? And I didn't even get them on my hands, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a really nice, smooth, finely milled powder. Like, really smooth, really nice. These are some really high quality dips, I must say. I'm, I'm very impressed with these. Um, and so... I did swatch them also as acrylics, you guys, and they swatched beautifully as acrylics. These are all three colors, again, swatched. Um, the only thing I noticed with them being swatched as acrylics is that they're taking a while to set. Um, I don't know if you can notice this or not, but when I dip my, when I try to poke my hand here, it does leave an indent on the swatch, meaning that it's not fully cured yet. So. Um, just be mindful of that. It's like 30 minutes later since I did the initial swatch and it still hadn't hardened yet. So um, while it can be used as a dip powder, um, just be mindful that the curing time is like really, really long. I am going to go ahead and take these nails off. Um, if you all are curious about this set, I do have a full tutorial of it linked down in the description box below. But yeah, I'll be right back. I've decided what look I want to do. I am going to be doing dip powder with tips for the first time. Um, so these are just like some half tips. I'm going to apply these to all of my nails. I went ahead and prepped my nails off camera. I just applied my Maran Peel Off Base Coat, which is like my absolute favorite. Then I went in and applied my uh, tips with um, my Beatles Base. And I'm also going to be using this to apply my dip powder. So what you'll need is your dip powders of choice. I am going to be going in with all three colors here from Pretty Diva. I'm also going to be trying something new with my Young Nails Cover Rosebud. I'm going to be using this as my nail bed. And this will be my first time trying their acrylics as a dip powder. I'm also going to be doing a French line. I got these recently and I wanted to give them a try. So we're going to be doing some French tips. First thing you want to do is take your French tip guide and apply it to the nail first. And I'm going to be doing dip powder with gel method today. And this is my first time doing this, you guys, so bear with me. But I kind of want to put it on right here. Okay. Like so. I'm going to take my gel base coat, my Beatles base coat, and apply it just to the nail bed itself. Like so. And when you're doing um, the gel method dip powder, you'll want to just apply a thin layer of the dip powder all over the nail first. Okay. I normally like to have a cupcake liner and I like to pour over. I'm gonna just take my cover rosebud and pour it all over the nail like so. And you really wanna pour it on and just give the powder time to absorb into that base coat. And once you've done that, you will tap off, all right? And if it still looks a little bit of wet, I'll just go ahead and apply more of the powder. And I'll keep applying the powder until I don't see any more wet spots on the nail. It looks like I missed a spot with my application here at the cuticle, but I'll go ahead and fix that with the next layer. So before I actually cure, I am gonna go ahead and remove this first, like so. Okay, and that should have that clean nail bed look. So then I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. This is what the nail looks like after it's been cured for 60 seconds. And next I'm gonna go in with my manicure brush 
and just brush off the excess gel. Yeah, I've never used the Young Nails uh, acrylics as dip powders, and I will say it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Y'all see how grainy the nail bed is looking? Hmm, okay. So, let me just stick with it though. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next layer and see what happens, okay? I'm gonna apply a thin layer of my base coat here. Making sure to coat that entire nail bed area here. And then what you'll want to do is follow the the, the previous, um, follow the line of the previous nail, like so. I'm gonna go in with the powder again and just pour over. I'm noticing with this cover rosebud, there's actually like a shimmer to it, which is really pretty. I don't think I noticed that when I swatched it. I'm just slightly patting it a little bit just to see if I can get it to kind of blend in a little bit more with, um, the, with the base coat because it was looking a little lumpy <laughs> when I applied it the first time. It's looking a little bit better now, so yeah, okay. That's what two layers of the Young Nails Cover Rosebud looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and dust that off with my brush here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go in with one more layer of that Young Nails Cover Rosebud just to see if I can build up my apex just ever so slightly. Looking a little lumpy, so I don't know if we can actually double these acrylics as dip powders, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the actual French tip. So I do want to try and crisp it up this kind of free edge here. Well, this is what three coats of the nail bed looks like on both nails. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the excess powder with my brush. And I like using um, a harder manicure brush when I'm doing the gel method because it can really get in those crevices and I know that it's fully dry because I cured it. It's confirmed, I don't think that the the Young Nails uh, acrylics can really be used for dip powders, but I am gonna go ahead and just smooth this out. I'm just gonna buff over the surface of it just to kind of smooth it out so that it doesn't look so gritty. That's looking pretty good to me. I'm happy with that. So before I actually go in with these glitters, because I know these glitters are going to get messy, I am going to go ahead and just do my ring finger, which is I'm going to be using like this full white shimmer. I'll apply this first because this base coat is still kind of sticky and I don't want like the glitters to get stuck in here. Again, you just want to go in with the thin layer of your gel base coat. Okay, happy people, I just wanted to pop in. In regards to dip powder, using the gel method is actually one of my favorite ways to apply um, dip powder. And that's mainly because there's minimal filing required after you're done with the application. So after I've applied my three layers of dip to this nail, this is what it's looking like. And so now I'm just gonna go in with a fresh brush just to make sure that white doesn't get contaminated at all. And the fear that I had about those glitters getting everywhere was proved to be true on this nail right here. So this nail accidentally got glitter all over it. It's not that big of a deal, but you'll wanna be careful when you're doing your sets, when you're using glitters and shimmers and things like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this glitter French tip. I'm gonna go in with this chunky glitter here for the glitter of the French tip. And then I'm gonna take my base coat and apply just a thin layer um, to that entire tip here, like so. Okay. Then from there, I'll take a new cupcake, cupcake liner and just pour the glitter all over. Now, I'm still new to kind of working with glitters and um, gel, the glitters and the gel method, but from what I think I understand is you kind of pour the glitter over, oops, and then you just kind of like lightly press it into the, into the nail, like so. And then that way, whatever glitters, you know, get caught on there, kind of gets pressed into that gel polish, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go through and do that. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit more on the entire nail itself. And I'm gonna cure it with that on top of the nail. Just whatever catches on top, it'll cure. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I flash here that for 10 seconds. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess here. And then I'm gonna repeat that same process here on my pinky finger and then fully cure for 60 seconds. For the pinky nail, I wanna to try to see if I dip it in, if that makes a difference. So I'm gonna just dip it and see what happens. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, look how much of a difference that made. 
So yeah, I think uh, so for glitters it's better to just dip it upside down into the nail. So that's that's what I'll be moving doing moving forward. That's a much better application than pouring it over. You see the difference? This one's more opaque and this one's kind of sheer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. This is what it looks like after it's been cured for 60 seconds. Now I'm gonna go in and dust off everything. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush this time so that I don't disturb the glitters too much. Yeah. I mean, you just see how much of a difference it makes dipping versus pouring over. So I'll go ahead and dip for the rest of the, the layers here. So again, you wanna take a thin layer of the base coat here. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and dip upside down into the powder like so. Oh yeah, that's nice. And so after I dip, I'll just go ahead and make sure no loose glitters are on the edge. Lightly pat the top. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's pretty, y'all. That's real pretty. I'm gonna flash for this for 10 seconds. I'll repeat the same process over here. That's looking good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fully cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is what two layers of the glitters look like. I think I am gonna go in with a third layer just to make the nail completely even. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. for 60 seconds okay so this is what those two glitter nails are looking like they're absolutely stunning okay yeah they apply beautifully you guys absolutely beautiful I'm glad I figured out how to do glitter dip powders with gel method because I actually hadn't I, I actually didn't know how to do it so I'm glad I figured it out here with you guys next on this hand I want to go in with that um, more of a that, that fine glitter that came in the pretty diva kit and I'm gonna do a full glitter nail now with this one I kind of want to work on building an apex I forgot to do that with the other fingers and so I kind of want to try the method out here here. So I'm going to go in and just um, apply it halfway up the nail first. Okay, just to see if I can build a little bit of an apex on the nail. Because as you can see, this nail right here is pretty flat. So I want to practice seeing if I can build an apex on this nail right here. So I'm going to go in with my glitters. I'm going to pour over first just to kind of get it in the container, get it um, in the cupcake liner, and then I'll go ahead and dip. So I'll pour it all over like so first do like that and then I'm gonna dip it okay then after I dip it I'm gonna just kind of press the glitters in and then I'll go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds okay so that's what the first layer looks like I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off the extra glitters here okay Next, I'm gonna go in with the next layer and I'm gonna just slowly work my way back towards the cuticle. So I'm gonna go in just a little bit above the cuticle area and apply it to the entire nail. Yeah, these glitters, yeah, these dip powders are really, really fine and really nice and easy to work with. Like they're going on so smooth. Dip the nail again, like so. Okay, tap off the excess, and then just slightly press the glitter into the nail, like so. Okay, and then cure for 60 seconds. This is what it looks like after the second coat. Now this third layer, when I go in, I'm gonna go right at the cuticle. gonna go in with one more layer starting at the cuticle going all the way down but I can already see a slight difference of it having a little bit more of an apex than this one this one is straight up and down and this one you can see it has a slight curve to it so I'm gonna go ahead and with one more coat of this and then we'll be all done with this nail Alrighty, these are looking very beautiful you guys. I'm really happy with this. Now the shaping on this, I love it. It's just a slight apex here as opposed to it being flat up and down. French tip turned out okay. I think um, if I had been a little bit more careful with how I applied that gel base coat that the smile line would be a little bit crisper but that's something I can work on for next time. Now I'm going to go ahead and file and shape the nails. I just want to crispen up the edges of the nails. 
make them nice and round. This is what the nails are looking like after they've been file shaped and buffed. Now I am going to go in with two layers of the Pretty Diva top coats and that's what I'm going to use to encapsulate and just finish off this nail set. Ooh, pretty. This top coat is nice. Looks real glossy. Alrighty, so I am liking how it is looking thus far. I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera. So I was thinking I wanted to add um, a bling a bling charm to my nail because y'all know I like bling and I like charms. So I just wanted to jazz it up. It's gonna be real simple, but I've been dying to use this little perfume bottle um, charm and I thought this was the perfect set to do it with. So I am gonna go in with my McCart rhinestone glue. I've actually really been enjoying this rhinestone glue. And I'm gonna apply just a small amount of it to the center of the nail, like so. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this gem here. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in place, add top coat around the charm, and then we are gonna get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I'm loving how she turned out. I'm loving the purple vibes. I'm loving the pink vibes. And of course, I'm loving my charm placement, okay? So yes, this is an absolutely beautiful Manny. Well, my final thoughts on the Pretty Diva products is I actually really like them a lot. The dip bottles are really smooth, finely milled, and super easy to work with, especially using the gel method, which is how I prefer to use my dip powders as well as this top coat. It was of a thicker consistency and I really enjoyed working with it. Y'all see how nice and shiny it is. So yeah, I will leave links to these products. They are available on Amazon, so I'll leave them linked down in the description box below. Yeah, I had a lot of fun sculpting my nails with that dip powder. So yeah, that was new for me and it was new using this young nails acrylic as my nail bed i mean i think overall it turned out pretty good i would i would recommend it a special thanks once again to pretty diva for sending me these products over for review if you all are interested on how i got this look i did sculpt my nails using acrylic and so i will leave this link down in the description box as well hope you all enjoyed the video and the new techniques that i showed i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye